Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. Officials in southern Texas disrupted a human smuggling operation, rescuing 26 people and arresting seven suspects. The victims, including an 18-year-old and a Guatemalan woman who paid $16,000, endured miserable conditions in a false truck compartment and a house without air conditioning or running water. Eleven were hospitalized due to heat-related injuries as temperatures soared to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Sheriff Javier Salazar linked the operation to bloodthirsty organizations and noted the discovery of bulletproof vests and rifles, indicating a long-standing smuggling network. In other news, prosecutors dismissed involuntary manslaughter charges against 911 dispatcher Leon Lee Price, who was accused of not sending an ambulance to Diania Kronk, who died of internal bleeding. Green County DA Brianna Venata reviewed an investigator's report stating Price's actions did not warrant charges and that he may not have been properly trained. Venata criticized the prior DA's decision to press charges. Kronk's daughter, Kelly Tichinell, questioned the dismissal. Price is rebuilding his life after losing his dispatcher job. In other developments, police in Burlington, Vermont, have apologized after a role-play robbery demonstration, including a mock shooting, startled high school students on a field trip. Although school officials knew about the reenactment, they were unaware it would occur without prior warning. The police defended their communication, but acknowledged the students' distress. Burlington's mayor expressed regret for the incident, citing the trauma of growing up with prevalent gun violence. A meeting with students and staff aims to address the incident's impact and foster reflective growth. Another evolving story. Colorado Governor Jared Polis has signed a bill introducing a new requirement for ranked choice voting, mandating municipal level testing before statewide implementation if the measure passes. This move, seen by critics as a delay tactic, comes as the group Colorado voters first campaigns to include RCV in the November ballot. If successful, Colorado would join other states like Oregon, Alaska, and Nevada in adopting RCV. Governor Polis assured that the system would be implemented statewide by 2028 if approved. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.